Okay, after one second of watching this video, who doesn't know what they're looking at? No one, because it's Pac-Man. I know him, you know him, even my grandma who doesn't even play video games knows who Pac-Man is. At one time, he was the most popular video game character in the world. And of course, it's a fun game! You take Pac-Man around the mazes eating pack pellets and super pack pellets that allow you to eat the ghosts. So since we all know about this game, how about I lay some Pac-Man fun facts on you? Pac-Man's original name was Puck-Man. Early on in Japan, a lot of the arcade cabinets said Puck-Man on them. But when it was ported to America, it was changed to Pac-Man for fear that people would vandalize the machines, changing the P to an F. And the sad part is, is that you know, you know that that would have been the case. Pac-Man was created because there were too many violent video games on the market in the late 70s. These were the space shooters where one thing would blow up another thing. Not many games the whole family could play were available, so Pac-Man was created as a game that everyone, regardless of age and gender, would enjoy. Hanna-Barbera created a Pac-Man cartoon that ran for 44 episodes in 1982 and 1983. A song called Pac-Man Fever, written by Buckner and Garcia, was released during the height of the game's popularity in 1982. Decades later, to keep up the arcade theming of Wreck-It Ralph, Disney would hire the songwriters to create the song Wreck-It, Wreck-It Ralph. The ghosts in the game were inspired by other ghosts, including Casper and Obaki no Kutaro. Pac-Man is one of the first games to use cutscenes. In between the levels, little cinematics take place, and it was thought that this was a way to entice the players to continue on to see the next part of the story. The highest score possible to get in the game is 3,333,360. Pac-Man makes a cameo in the original Tron movie. There is an infamous kill screen when you make it to the 256th level, where the game bugs out. This is because the game was designed to only store 255 levels, but since there is no programmable ending, the following level glitches out and is pretty much unbeatable. Unless you memorize the patterns, I guess. Pac-Man has been a serious staple of video games for almost a full four decades, and even now, though he isn't as popular as he was back then, he still has a vast fan base of people, like myself, who will continue to play this arcade classic for years to come.